Welcome back to the Salty Show, and welcome back to our Age of Bronze Let's Play on Total War Rome 2 as the uh, surviving Hittite Kingdom. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you're like and subscribe, as always, and if you want to support the channel, check out the membership below, which you get first access to this campaign as soon as I'm done recording it and release it. In the last episode, we obviously had our introduction. We have made a official alliance with Tartum Tussa here, and we've uh, really... We're doing a lot better than how I did originally in my, uh, my legendary try-through before I realized the imbalances of the battle. We have so far pushed north towards against the Casca invaders, or the Casca tribes, defeating a faction and, uh, well, pushing them back to their capital, as you see at Kishua, which they did suffer a plague breakout there in the city walls, probably thanks to our army down here having it. We, a child was born, we'll take a look at that in a minute. We got a journal that likes Greeks, recruitment report, and the Kaskin army is somewhere around here. Now granted, we don't know where, and our spies unfortunately unable to reveal them. So with that, they've got, they're going to have 10 there, they've got 4 right now. Let's go ahead and try to reveal them. Uh, let's... It's only going to give us agency over settlements, so they don't have an army there, which is good to know. But with that, with the army right here being in an ambush stance, we are going to just fortify, I think. Or what we could put... We could really go in ambush stance ourselves, but I think we're going to just fortify. Make sure they can't get through us, just in case. And this force, being... Po <laughs> unfortunately, being poisoned or uh, suffering from plague will not save them from the uh, the battlegrounds. We will be recruiting some forces though if we can. Three Anatolian swordsmen or warriors. That'll have to do and we are going to press against the city before we lose any more. Thankfully, we're not we're not going to quick save. Obvious well, actually we will quick save, but I'm not going to revert, obviously, unless, like, something goes wrong. But let the siege of... I have forgotten this settlement already, but let the siege begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the siege of Kishpua. I did remember the name after seeing it appear on the map. So we've deployed in three prongs here, hoping to pressure them from all sides. It does appear that they... Did actually manage to get a sizable force though drawn up. I'm gonna do my best not to lose my chariots to uh, anything stupid like I did in last episode. Uh, kudos to the keen eyes that saw what happened to the charioteers. The poor guys didn't stand a chance. The only thing those uh, flaming balls managed to kill in that siege were my own men. Which I do, I think, goes to show. So we've seen most of these forces already. Nothing. We're not really letting the casket develop any sort of uh, strong units here. I mean, young clubs. There are some Kaskin warriors here, which I've seen them before. Let's go ahead and move our forces in. Nothing to dilly dally with. We don't have all day, so. Ooh. We're gonna go ahead and break these forces off. Well, hopefully we can pierce through. Can we not get through here? Oh, son of a gun. Oh, well that sucks. Okay. That is unfortunate. I thought we could get through there, but... We'll just reposition them over here. Oh, well, they're giving up a bit of ground here. We don't really have the forces to spare, so we are going to be pretty methodical with this. These forces are in range, so we're going to start pelting them with slingers, or with stones. 
And they, they keep turning their backs like this. It's going to hurt them pretty hard. There's their general, the Kaskin bodyguard. Looking pretty, pretty tight. They are starting to engage. I was really hoping to get... Yeah, our swords have been around here. Let's try... This AI is very interesting. It, it's... It's always nice to sometimes play around with uh, the AI to see what they'll do. Uh, let's go ahead and get our jabs over here. Okay, they are kind of opening themselves up. Oh yeah, they're definitely opening themselves up to attack here. Ooh, that is gonna hurt, yeah. Those clubs are gonna be a little better than our men. Let's go ahead and move our men in here into the rear. Get our mercenaries around back, get our... Get our king in here with his mighty chariots. Because that, that unit is not going to last forever. Come on. Let's move, please. Let's start throwing some javelins. Right into the sides of these forces here. That's gonna, yeah, that's gonna do a number on them. But that, yeah, that unit is gonna run, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and try and get our. See how the pathfinding works for these chariots. Because it's never, never good usually. I mean, that was okay, but. Our. Yeah, they're around. Are they Our forces are wavering, which is not good. Get a good charge right in there. A little bit of a javelin throw there. Unfortunately, some of our units are actually quite the struggle here. I do hope we don't lose our general here. Come on. Please kill them. This is, they're holding on fairly well, but we are starting to get some routes. You really just gotta keep issuing the commands for the chariots. That is one thing, I, I really... I've been watching Pharaoh closely. And, you know, I do see a lot of optimism growing for the game. Especially after the early access. Some people are still aren't sold, which, granted, very true, especially with the price tag. But... That's one thing I have noticed, is the chariot gameplay doesn't look horrible we are breaking them thank god i was worried that we were gonna lose this for a minute we are starting to lose the chariots so let's pull them out they did kill 369 so our chariots are really doing good but yeah 
get our boys in there. You guys go in there. Get our forces in there. Let's pull the chariot out over here. Let them mop that force up. Okay, we've broken them. We've broken them as well. I'd much prefer... Don't you dare have javelins, please. Get our mercenaries up here. Oh my lord, don't be stupid. Time for our mercenaries to earn their pay. Alright, they're doing a good job. Okay, we're good. We only need the general. Very nice. A good slaughter. I do apologize for not getting a lot of close-ups. Uh, we did somehow manage to almost lose this. But they're wavering now. We've got them in circle. Let's... Make sure we kill their morale with a good chariot charge, hopefully. And pull them through, pull them through. There we go. Victory is ours. And the Battle of Kishpua is a astounding uh, success that'll be written down in the history books. Welcome back, everybody. To the beautiful aftermath. Um, I say beautiful, only Alu Wamna is going to report to the Hittite king that uh, this was a successful victory. It was fairly close. We lost a lot of numbers, and unfortunately, a lot of it being uh, mainly our troops. The mercenaries got off fairly uh, scat free. We are, though, we are short on cash. So I think we're going to loot it, honestly. Yeah, it's either looting or raising. Yeah. We're short on cash, so we're gonna take that from them. And demolish everything they have here. Uh, do not convert that. Um, just repair it because we're still a little short on cash. Alupana, or Aluwamna did level up. He's going to get commander, which is nice. And let's go ahead, merge the mercenaries. It's going to put us back into the positive. Go ahead and merge our levy forces here. Yeah, unfortunately, they're gonna, they're taking quite the hit. It would allow us to recruit more mercenaries up here in the King's Army, but I don't think, <laughs> even if we can recruit more forces, I don't think we really want to get ambushed. So we're going to play it safe and hope that Alumamna can hold out. Thirst for power, difficulty level, xenophobe. Unfortunately, you're really a troublesome faction. Thirst for power is impossible to beat because they're always going to be lower than us. Traditionalist, plus one loyalty reach for the player's culture is dominant. Is our culture not dominant in our capital? It is. Should that not be counting? Oh, it is. It is counting. Okay. Yeah, that, that thirst for power is really the only issue here. We could secure loyalty. But we're protected for another night turn, so we're, we're not going to worry about it yet. Securing loyalty would not matter right now. What we are going to do, though, is... I don't know if Aluwamna is going to be able to hold out. We can get Anatolian Bowmen, though, which would be really good. We can also get Javelins, and I think Javelins and then maybe some Bowmen would be good. So we'll recruit them here. Up here in the capital, the king will get... Um, 
Really, you can only save that. Hittite levies are better than the Anatolians. I don't want to get the mob. Seems quite useless. Let's just go for... We've got five. We'll get, we'll get six spears just to keep recruiting something. Our capital is unfortunately a little rough because of slaves. We are taking on quite a lot of them, but... That's okay for now. We can actually recruit a dignitary. Or a priest, to my bad. Let's... Well, really... Upkeep costs... I mean... We don't need a spy growth. Construction taxes. Okay, that one's pretty decent. Ah, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab Hattori here, and we'll deploy him next turn, and we could actually grab him, Mishwulu, and put him in the king's army. I think we might do that. We might put him in the king's army, and over here we can actually get another spy. Cultural influence, wealth, and public order. Yeah. A uh, thousand, I believe it was nine. That should be good enough. Lady spent all of our looted income. Let's see what the Kaskin forces do. That does mean, obviously, that they're. Ooh, Ugrit wants a trade our agreement. Oh, we took. Welcomed across all the world for the wealth um, Why should your lands be any different? Granite, I agree. We're friendly. And you're willing to pay us a good bit of money. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, and they do come to face us. They overwhelmingly have us. Let's pull back. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Crap. Oh, we were in a fort. Oh, no, everybody. Telepinu's reign. Telepinu's reign might be coming to a swift end. Oh no. Son of a gun. There, there's no way we can get out of this. He's not fit for this army. We were in a fort. I can't believe it. Oh no. Well. Oh boy. No going back. No going back. That was a mistake that we're gonna say, you know, happens. We got scared and we pulled out. Um, we're not gonna corner camp, but I'm gonna be honest, we're definitely gonna hug this wall. I mean, there's not much we can do. I didn't mean to leave the cutscene in, but I'm sure y'all don't mind. I mean, there is a bit of a hill here. Let's see if we can deploy our chariots into the forest somewhere, maybe? Get our javelins going. Man, if this is this, if this ends our campaign, shit. <laughs> we were just talking about the political instability that Telepidu is dealing with. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter to him too much if he's dead. So, well, I guess we've uh, solved that issue for him. Sorry guys, sending out a quick text. Do apologize. All right, let's speed this up. Uh, can we hide chariots? We can, okay, good. They are hidden. Hell, most of our forces are actually hidden. The, the one benefit we have is we do have a good bit of a wall here. That we uh, will be using to our advantage. 
Let's, yeah, that's fine. Trying to get these boys in the most defensible position possible as we are outnumbered and outgunned. Yeah, the calm before the storm. Our archer should be firing any minute now. Let me spear, man! Oh boy. Talk about... <laughs> man, I bet as a soldier, you're just sitting down here, you're like, I cannot believe we left our fort to fight on this godforsaken hill. Unfortunately, our chariots are exposed. So we're going to need to pull around. They're sending forth their mob. I really don't want our men to get caught, though. Here comes the first wave. Brace, men, brace. actually tell you guys stop firing please Let's try to see what we can do try to harass them perhaps I'm fairly certain our spears can hold against mobs That's what we want to focus on. Anything that's got a shield. Oh, don't get caught. Do not get caught. Alright, yeah, y'all are just going to have to go fire at will. We really need to do some counter fire here. We can get our chariots around their flank. The only thing is chariots are slow. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, we're losing a good bit from their... Oh yeah, we're losing a bit. Our main line is... Oh no. Oh, this is sad. This is sad. If you could go any faster, that would be great. I know you're pretty slow. You're pretty lame, horses, but... Anything would be uh, better than what you're doing right now. Gotta be honest here, guys. Gotta be honest. The most we can hope for is potentially, yeah, catching their chair there. Oh man, these archers are gonna pelt our chariots though as soon as we stop chasing them. But we really need to. Are you coming out to face me? We gave him a rear charge. Let's try to turn back around. Form up. Oh, well, that's not good. The problem is, uh, they have a king still. A full, a full mighty king. We can break this sod. Oh, but they're being hit in the back now. Just try. Just keep trying. I really need y'all to hold more. 
really need y'all to hold more, please. Oh, God. Yeah, we're running low on troops here. It is highly uh, unfortunate. Oh, our king is trying. He's trying so hard. Uh, there's only so much you can do. How did you all get down there so far? We're trying our best here. He's at 280. Man, he is just hammering away. Hammering away. Unfortunately, this flank's been lost. I do love that this guy's been stuck over here for a hot minute. Come on. Okay, alright, yep. You've caught them. Swing back around. Turn around. Why would I order that? Why would I issue that order? Don't do that. Oh my god. I really... You don't need a break. All right, good job on that charge. Keep going through, keep going through. Pull out, pull out, pull out, okay. Just keep cutting through them. Please, just keep cutting through them. Hey, don't you waver. Who gave you permission to waver? You're on the easy side. Come on, man. You see these Hittite swords complaining? Oh, no. Telepinu has died. No. He did so much, man. Oh, the, ca the catastrophe of Telepinu. Yeah, this guy's not gonna hold any longer. Yeah. That was an, an unfortunate end of that battle. Damn, if he hadn't have fallen, we were so close. Well, everybody, I'll see you on the campaign map after that unfortunate loss. And welcome, everybody, to that unfortunate loss. With the fall of Telepinu, the Rota Tusa lies open. Now, granted, we took a shit ton of them with us, over half their force, but ultimately it was all for naught. They, so they don't. Tarantasa is coming to our aid, at least. There is good in trade to walk through a market. Yes, the fall of Telepinu. We do get to choose our general. That is one benefit. Hittite chariots, heavy guards, and a Sedina guard. Um. I'm gonna say let's stick with the Hittite chariots. Um, royal family, Hantilla. Clinic culture, inspire research, wealth. All of you are followers of Karanta. You're the royal family, so yeah. So, Aluwamna is the new... I didn't think he was a part of our ruling party. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, oh, I lied. So that was an unfortunate end to Telepinu. A very early unfortunate end. He was 64, but yes. Aluwamna is now king. Uh, surprise king, I must say. Placing airship on Paluwara. He has a one general. Yes. Oh, 
we'll have to see what happens, but, uh... Tarantessa, thankfully, is coming to our aid. Which means we are... They're not in range yet, so we're not gonna try and fight that. Merge what little troops we have left. Uh, and hope. Let us go ahead. Which one? You were going for the army. Well, you're not our king's army anymore, so we might as well. We'll deploy you. I, I do love the sticks are... Uh, just a tiny little bug. That's interesting, but that is gonna, it's always gonna show. So fingers crossed Tarn Tessa can deal with that and we're gonna come down here and get town watch is reduction. We need the city barracks, yes. Oh really we need a uh... really need a, a regular garrison to be honest um I mean I do think maybe not maybe we won't get the city barracks we'll get spring channel would actually be pretty cheap to get um go for the spring channel let's convert this 14 yep that's not too bad Oh yeah, our capital is under threat, but Tarantussa, I think, has got our back. Which is great. Really good. Um, hopefully that's, you know, we can bounce back from that. Let's go ahead and send you into Troy. And start trying to just cause a little bit of havoc. Build up a spy network keep them keep them from getting involved in our uh, hasty war so you so this Aluamna is the newly uh, appointed king and he's got the only army we can really call uh, an army but unfortunately he's not in a recruiting zone and he's actually sitting at negative 21 public order instability cultural differences taxes and slaves but we'll be able to handle a lot of that we are replenishing at least. That's a positive. Code Huggus. What is your name? Hantilla. That I was like, that is not your name, sir. Uh, we'll grab a javelin. Slowly starting to try to replenish our forces. Our capital is rather strong. I don't think they'd be able to take it if one f in like one fell swoop, but. That was definitely a setback I did not see coming. Okay. No, we really don't need a military wharf. If anything, we would probably get a merchant's wharf to increase our income. It'd either be a merchant's wharf or a fishing port. And I highly, yeah, I highly doubt we need that. So let's go ahead and grab the merchant's wharf. We have a lot of trade coming in. I'm not going to do anything there. Um, you're sitting at 56 gravitas. You have 69. So, hey, wait a minute. That that should have gotten better. Thirst for power should go down. Let's read this. If the party's influence is lower than the ruling party's influence. Is this influence? It is. We're exalted. So, never mind. That's not going to go down anytime soon. Um... I don't know how I feel about Paluwara being the heir, but we'll be fine for now. They've had three children, so unfortunately one died. But we'll we'll roll with it. Let's look diplomatically, make sure we're not building up any issues going on right now. Ugarit is quite friendly with us, which is great. We're trading with uh, Terrania, which just classical old roads here. They're not roads yet. Cyprus is willing to trade. Or Alesa. We're gonna demand payment, though. It is an honor to trade with the Hittite kingdom. Oh, wow. For them, it's a it's a great honor. Wow. I came as a supplicant, and the gods have them. And we have met some Thracian tribes. Well, 
well met, friend. Unfortunately, they. Your words move me. We really. Our ancestors were proud men and stood alone against the world. Ooh, the Brigies, which are hella, helladic, helladic. Kasprovska, they're at war with two factions, one to their north, but they own one, two. Looks like three settlements. Greetings, my friend. You have my ear for your speech. Iceni doesn't want anything to do with us. Yeah, it appears these guys are winning the field for now. Um, Be welcome, but may Athena strike us all dumb. Unfortunately, they don't want anything to do with us, though. That sucks a lot. Let's go. Let's get one more intern in there. Let's see what we do. Yeah, they're gonna try. So they're gonna try and pull back to Salpuna, raving as they go. We have research stockage, which is good. Outraged population of Casca. Yeah, I'm sure they don't like the fact that we uh, came in, looted everything, and then said, "Hey, we're gonna live here." Uh, but they're gonna have to deal with it because we are living here. Thankfully, Tar and Tussa is chasing them down. I don't really want them to ga grab Zalpua. Uh, that would be highly unfortunate. Okay, they are in range to help us here, though, so. If they are going to continue fleeing, let's. We're going to pull back behind their lines and continue recruiting. Mainly going for javelins. Uh, actually, let's start. Uh, we'll get one more jav and then move on from that. And let's see. So we researched stockade, which granted defense morale. Okay. Cost for chariots. Chariot. So that's a lot of chariots. I don't think we need that. Commander aura size. Combat posts. Let's go for war bands. At this rate, we really need a minor settlement to... Let's actually try to make sure they can't get to that city. Damn. Unfortunate. And Kishpulu will rebel in two turns. Cultural... Oh, God, that... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're telling me cultural issues. Actually, if we take them out of the settlement and fortify... 21. Okay, never mind. It is better. Um... With that being said, you all are spending an awful lot of money. I don't want to abandon Kishpu because we are now receiving a, a good bit of economical growth from it. But it is going to be hard to hold. I really don't want to rely on mobs, but honestly, we might have to. We might have to rely on some mobs. Let's get two mobs going. Just be some good cannon fodder, I guess. And everyone, that is, I believe, where I'm going to end today's episode. I don't know how long I've been recording. Uh, these episodes are not... Uh-oh, Ugarit's under siege. No, not our ally. Our ally is going to die, it looks like. That sucks. We were raking in some good cash from them. Um, but these episodes are not set to the 30-minute time limit as all my no regular scheduled episodes. These will be uh, just interviewing you know, changing times, but I do think I'm going to wrap it up. We had a lot go on in this episode. Unfortunately, we had the death of Telepunu and the loss of uh, the Battle of Hattusa. However, Tarantasa is coming to our aid and helping out uh, Hantilla, our king's son, push out the Kaskin Raiders. Hoping we can continue pushing to where maybe Tarantasa will help us take Zapulo if we can get lucky and get ahead of them. That's not guaranteed, but it's something that we'll have to deal with in the future if they take it. Meanwhile, our newly uh, appointed king, Aluamna, is sitting at Kishkua trying to deal with the public order and recruiting some local levies to his cause. The Hittite kingdom is still up in the air. We are doing pretty okay, I think. We are definitely uh, relying heavily on Tarhan uh, military might, which could come to bite us later, but that is yet to be seen. If you enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe as always. If you want to support the channel, check out the membership. You'll get first access to this campaign as always. But I've been your host, Salty. Peace out, everybody.